Hello and welcome back to the Ghost Tea Virtual Social. We are very excited. It's launch day and we're here at the Atlas Space Flight Operations Center where people are busy checking out the rocket, getting ready to issue those go or no go commands. And I'm here today with someone who gets to issue one of the final go or no go calls, Candace Carlisle, who is the, let's see, GOES T Flight Program Manager, is that correct? I'm the GOES R Series Flight Project Manager. Ah, so close, I was so close, all right. So Candace, how are you feeling today? Excited and terrified. And it's terrified. It's like when you send your child across the country in a cross-country car trip, and you're excited for them, because they're going to have a lot of great experiences, but you're also a little worried, you know, will they get in any trouble? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so what is your, your job with GOES-T and the GOES-R program? The GOES-R series flight project is responsible for the spacecraft and instruments. So today, we have a number of engineers that are over in Astrotech, which is where they're monitoring the spacecraft from. And then we have a few people here at the ASOC, and then we have a team of people at the NOAA Satellite Operations Facility in Suitland, Maryland. Okay. So the folks over in Astrotech will be monitoring the spacecraft. The folks in the NSOF will be taking over control of the spacecraft uh, shortly after separation. Yeah. And the folks here are in the go, no goes pools. Uh, and we're essentially in the same facility with the Atlas folks who are looking at the rocket Looking side. at the rocket. So what are you looking for? Uh, in, with the spacecraft, like what are you, what are you, you know, checking as it as it gets ready to go? So the team reports up to me. So the engineers are looking at their specific subsystems and all the telemetry, the data that they get mm -hmm. uh, to make sure everything's good. They're looking at the power. Uh, they're you know just looking at everything about the spacecraft. You know how you have your car um, dashboard and all the sensors there. Right. A spacecraft's like that too, except more sensors. Gotcha. <laughs> more sensors and, and you know less opportunity to pull off the side of the road if something goes wrong, exactly, I imagine. Exactly, <laughs> but there are, that's why there's a go, no go. Yeah. Uh, so there's several places in the countdown where there's pulling and everybody, you know, pulls up. I hear from the NSOF team because they're making sure all the networks are ready to support. Um, then I hear from the spacecraft team. So several times during the countdown, we check out to make sure everything's okay. Excellent. So are you excited for, uh, you know, several, a few hours from now? Absolutely. Absolutely. Very excited. Yeah. What's your favorite part of the launch? Um, well, it's, it's, it, what is exciting about the launch to me is the spacecraft project manager is when there's separation and then when you hear, you know, actually we start hearing from the spacecraft through a ground station shortly before separation. So you know that it's separated, it's okay. A few minutes later, about six minutes after separation, there's the uh, solar array stage one deployment. Yeah. So in there, you know, this is about a three hour cruise, a little over three and a half hour cruise. Yeah. So we get, you know, separation, solar array deployment, uh, just before that is positive communication, power positive. Those are all the things we're looking for. Excellent. So once, once you're up there and everything's turned on and you get your first light image, like what are you looking forward to most about having GOES up in orbit? GOES is team. fantastic. The imagery we get from GOES, you see all the time on the weather. Yeah. Um, it can keep, uh, you know, we have GOES East and GOES West, and between them, they keep an eye on the entire Western Hemisphere. Um, this one, GOES T, will become GOES 18. That will be GOES West. And so, you know, we're on the East Coast, but the, the weather systems have a tendency to move from West to East. Yeah. So because GOES is there all the time in the geostationary position, looking at everything, um, it can track the weather systems as they move across the country. It can move, you know, it can track hurricanes as they're developing, uh, fires, it can see fires from space when they're first developing, so it's fantastic what it can do. Great. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us, Candace, and uh, go goes tea. Go goes tea. <laughs> and great, and now we'll be joined by uh, Scott Messer, Launch Alliance, he's uh, ULA's uh, NASA Launch Services Program Manager. Um, as you can tell, we're in the ASOC and things are real busy. People are coming and going. People are getting excited. Taking the time. Thank you. So what, um, what's involved in your role as the, as the 
program manager here? So uh, my job as program manager is to make sure that uh, when over the last uh, two and a half, three years, as we've integrated the GO spacecraft onto the Atlas vehicle yeah. to ensure that we meet all of the requirements and uh, that we can guarantee mission success for the GOES-T spacecraft. That's great, that's great. And so, you know, what what will you be doing over the next several hours before our scheduled 4.38 p.m. takeoff? So, uh, kind of, as Candace said, a little bit of uh, worrying, yeah. uh, watching the vehicle, <laughs> uh, the vehicle is going through uh, all of its last minute checkouts. They check each and every system to make sure it is working right. correctly. We've got an engineering team that evaluates that. We've got the launch operations team that's doing all that. And so upstairs on, uh, and on the Mission Director Center, we'll be watching all of that stuff happen and monitoring to make sure that everything is ready to go when we get to uh, 4.38 this afternoon, uh, Eastern time. Excellent, excellent. So how many how many of these NASA missions have you, or like Na joint NASA other agency missions have you worked on? So uh, quite a few. Yeah. Uh, I, I counted uh, the other day and this uh, ghost T will be my 54th really? NASA mission that I've been involved with uh, over the, the course of my career. Yeah. So that uh, is very exciting for me. And uh, of course, this will be number 149 for, uh, for ULA. Right. And uh, you know, also exciting in my mind is the fact that ULA and our, our Heritage Atlas and Delta vehicles have launched every GOES mission that's ever been launched. Really? So Going back to 1970s? Yeah, 1975 was the, was the first launch wow. of, of GOES, and that was on a Delta vehicle. Yeah. And then uh, this will be our 22nd launch with, uh, with in, the in partnership with NASA LSP. So it's been a very exciting that's uh, great. Uh, launch. And, and GOES, quite frankly, I, I have to tell you that of all of the missions I've ever launched, this is probably the smoothest Really? Uh, integration and preparation that I have ever experienced. Yeah. It's, it's Are you knocking, knocking wood there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's been really, really good so far. Great, great. And does it ever get old? Like you've done 54 of these now? It does and not. Yeah. No, it does not. Uh, when I see Candace up here and she's all excited, when I hear about the, the uh, science that the missions are going to do it just always gets me excited and as we get into the countdown and whatnot yeah it's just the excitement is there and and it's always uh, just never gets old excellent excellent well scott hey thanks so much for taking the time i appreciate it and uh go atlas go goes t and uh we'll see you very soon tune in at 4 p.m for the uh nasa live broadcast thanks so much